I want to give you a recap of what happened this week. I want to give you a recap of what happened this week. I'm in Beijing right now. In front of me is the booklet of the Digital Leaders Tour my colleagues organized. So it was basically an executive program by Digital Leaders. Katerina and her team organized it. Katerina is Managing Director of Digital Leaders. And they came up with the Trend Tour the Trend Tour Asia 2017 for a special group of CEOs from Germany who wanted to understand the key drivers of growth for digital transformation in Asia. It was an inspirational week with a packed agenda from early morning till late night. So all participants are pretty exhausted because the amount of knowledge you gather during the week just exceeds any conference. You not only meet the people in charge of the change or of the companies leading in that space, but also you can see behind the scenes and explore their culture, their motivation, why they're doing that and also how they're doing that. To explore the key trends here in Asia, Digital Leaders decided to go to Japan and to China with the group of people attending. So it was a variety of topics from fast-growing startups to large corporations to mind-boggling new technology labs which we visited. It was a week where you could get the feeling of dimensions of growth and why it's important to look much more into the Asian markets. In Europe or in the US we don't get much information what is actually happening here. We don't understand the growth and everybody is surprised about the fact that WeChat dominates the market here in China with 850 million users, active daily users. Um, then with systems in, uh, in, in Japan where mobile payment is not the dream but reality used by millions and millions of people right from the mobile phone. Here in China especially, it's the end of copycat China. They're driving digital transformation, they're driving the digital future much quicker than Silicon Valley or, or Europe. So for me, it's always fascinating to be here. The whole team of digital leaders and Katerina did a tremendous job to set up the program and I'm excited to be part of that as well. But now I wanted to give you an overview of the companies we visited and the overall agenda. Well, let's have a look into, into the program. We started off with an opening dinner and evening in Japan, Tokyo. 
So we had two special speakers there. So after the opening, there had been two days in Tokyo with a packed agenda. We visited accelerator programs like Mistletoe, I think one of the most fascinating accelerator programs in Japan. We visited two innovation labs. We visited an innovation lab by a large corporate, Fuji Xerox. On the second day in Tokyo, we met up with the chief innovation and technical officer of the Olympic Committee here in Tokyo. Where uh, Tokyo 2020, you know, they're preparing the Olympic Games in 2020 and he's in charge of all innovation and technology aspects of it. So they are building a fleet of robots welcoming you already at the airport and then there will be autonomous cars. Then also the stadium will be a tremendous attraction. The power stadium with Panasonic's LED system will be incredible. After Tokyo 2020, we also looked in to get a German perspective and we talked to the uh, Chamber of Commerce and the representatives of Germany. So it was kind of an official meeting, but also very interesting to learn their perspective on doing business in Japan. And then after that, we looked at the kind of the future technology things Panasonic is developing at their future lab. Things like uh, facial recognitions, uh, smart home and smart city infrastructure. It was incredible to see what they're having in their labs and what they're already rolling out in the next couple of years. And additionally, we looked at the future lab of Toyota where we saw the newest prototypes and their vision of smart city infrastructure. Then we hopped on a plane, went to Beijing, China. So in Beijing, we saw that the Chinese people not only talk about innovation, they make things happen. It was fascinating to visit Innovation Works uh, once again. It's a huge accelerator plus fund uh, plus larger later stage investor. So what was fascinating this week is the variety of companies from large corporations to accelerator programs, investors, large media companies and fast growing startups. And we also went to what they call the Mark Zuckerberg of Beijing, Chua Dao and it was incredible to see how they are growing and reinventing how the news feed is distributed in China. Last but not least, we also visited the Baidu campus and learned about Baidu's brain. Basically, the artificial intelligence engine which they've built, their voice recognition technologies and how they are scaling it through their billions of requests every day. So you have to imagine, I think there are 1.5 billion daily requests on searches on Baidu per day. Baidu is heavily investing into artificial intelligence. So Asia is important and you have to take a deeper loop. If you don't have the opportunity to travel here, then try to read more about the market. Just incredible what is happening. So my booklet here with the Trend to Asia 2017 is packed with a couple of new business ideas, great connections we made during the tour and many, many new ideas and thoughts which I'm taking home now for Digital Leaders Ventures. That's it from Beijing. What a week. I'm exhausted and now packing my stuff, getting to the airport, flying out later tonight. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Any comments? No Katarina. comments. No comments. But look at this.